Alright everybody, welcome back to TCG Cast, and in this video we are going to go over the rarity of all of the cards in Star Wars Unlimited, and we're going to be doing a review of my Showcase Krennic, because a lot of people have been asking to see what does it look like and how do the foils in Star Wars Unlimited pair up against, say, Magic the Gathering or Pokemon. So we're going to go through all of that. So right off the bat, let's talk about the rarities in each pack. So you have a common card, you have an uncommon card, you have a rare card, and you have a legendary. And you can tell the difference between the rarer cards because at the very bottom right here, there's going to be that anti-theft uh, holographic foiling, kind of like Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh! So you can determine real quickly at the bottom, is this a rare card or is this a common or uncommon card? So those are the four stock rarities inside of a booster pack. Now I do want to bring something up real fast for people who are collectors or who might might not be aware. There are versions of cards in the starter deck that do not have that foil anti-theft holographic print. So if you're going through your singles and you notice, oh hey, there's a version of a card that doesn't have that foiling, maybe it's a fake. Probably not. It could be a starter card. So you're going to want to look through the starters because there's an Obi-Wan version. There's a Han version. There's a bunch of different pieces of equipment that are rare cards in booster packs with that little X-Wing foiling that do not have them in the starter deck. So don't freak out if you see one and the other and go, wait, this is real. This is fake. No, they're both real. Don't don't freak out. It's all good. So let's talk about the types of rarities inside of your card. So each card has four different potential rarities. So here is the base version. There is nothing special. This is exactly what you would think it is. You've got all of the standard printing. The next one up is going to be a foil version of the exact same card. So you can see here, they look identical, except this has that rainbow foiling going on. Next up is the hyperspace full art version. So if, if we put these together, you can see that this has extended artwork on the sides here, and there are no black borders. They also condense the keyword and get rid of the additional text. So you're just going to have the ability text or the ability, not the text explaining it. So this is going to be one of the more premium types of cards because you can have an entire deck blinked out with hyperspace variants. And then the final version I don't have, unfortunately, it's called a hyperfoil. So it's a hyperspace full art foil. I do have the waylay version. This is one of the only hyperfoils I have to showcase. So essentially imagine this card foiled like this card. <laughs> so uh, these hyperfoils are incredibly difficult to find. So if you find a hyperspace full art foil of your favorite card, that would be a really cool event. You should post it on social media so we can take a look at it. But yeah, here are the foils. We've also had people asking, what do the foils look like? And as you can see, they are a rainbow foil. And if you see here, they do curl just a smidgen, but not too bad, like compared to say, like here's the, here's the flat card. You can see that, nice and flat. And then here is the hyper foil. It's got a little bit of a crease, but not not too bad. It's nothing like like here's a here's a magic card. This guy is uh, just kind of crinkling up. Let's see, this is the Star Wars card. This is the magic card, and here's the comparison. So, got that rainbow foil here, and then this is technically a rainbow foil. I think this looks way more rainbow esque. Like you can see here as I'm like rotating it, like there's so much color coming through the card and then you've got the rainbow foiling on magic cards so it looks good it looks real good and then I want to compare it to the classic uh, cold foil so here is a cold foil from Disney Lorcana uh, unfortunately it doesn't have any rainbow anything because it's a cold foil so this is gonna have way more color comparatively this is going to be more matte more subtle, but it's still beautiful. And then here's Pokemon. So these two are probably the closest in terms of just pure color coming off of the foil. And then you can see here, uh, Pokemon is flat. 
and then Star Wars Unlimited is a little curved, and then Magic is arguably the most curved. See if I can get this comparison here for y'all. So Magic foil curves a little bit, Star Wars a little bit less, and then Pokemon, not at all. So they figured out the foiling process. Uh, Star Wars is pretty darn close, and Magic is, you know, Pringles as always. But yeah, those are the four types of rarity. So again, you've got the base rarity, you've got the foil version of the base rarity, then you've got the hyperspace rarity, then the hyperspace foil. So now we're gonna talk about bases. So these are pretty cool. You've got the same thing. There are base rarity bases, nothing special, and then you've got the hyperspace. The reason I have all of these out is because on the back of the base, is going to be a token. So you've got the uh, experience token and the shield token. So technically each individual base has two versions, the shield and the experience version. And you can see that here on the hyperspace, there is the full art shield token. So if you're collecting bases, there's going to be a full art version that has the shield and a full art version that has the experience token, and I do not have that one yet, but I'm sure I'll pull it at some point. But for people who are collecting, yeah, there's uh, basically four bases. There's uh, two regular bases, one shield, one uh, experience, and two hyperspace art, one shield, one experience. Okay, so now we're getting to the part where everyone's been asking about leaders, and of course, we're gonna talk about and show off the showcase Krennic. So as always, here is the base version of a leader. There's nothing special. You've got that black border. All the leaders do have this little uh, X-Wing mark stamp thing, so you can make sure that those are legitimate when you're pulling them. So yeah, nothing special. Still super cool, but there is no alternative artwork, no any foiling, nothing going on here. And then the hyperspace version. So this is going to be a full art extension. So we can compare the two here. You can see there's no black border on the sides and the artwork has been extended. Boom, super beautiful. And then comparing the two, same thing, no black border. The keywords have been condensed, so this will, will say restore two and explain it. The hyperspace version will just say restore two, and you'll have to know what it means. Um, and they just look so stunning. Like hyperspace cards are absolutely beautiful. Uh, big props to FFG for creating this really amazing card. Uh, but now the, the thing everyone's been asking for, now this is going to be in a sleeve because I don't want to touch it and get fingerprints all over it, but this is the hyperspace version, the showcase Krennic. At the time of this recording, there's only been one pulled in the world outside of Fantasy Flight Games staff. I actually don't know if they have one internally. I didn't see one when they were um, showing off their cards at the celebration. However, I do know a lot of people have cards at home and they may or may not want to tell people that they have a showcase, which is totally fine. But uh, this was pulled at the Star Wars Celebration. We actually talk about this card on our podcast where we recapped the event, but this was my pack one, pick one. So this is the very first card I ever laid my hands on, ever touched for Star Wars Unlimited. And so here you can see there is a big difference in the artwork. So the showcases have a completely unique set of art and they do have that rainbow foiling. So let's pull up the waylay here so we can take a look. So they're using the same rainbow foiling. It does feel a little condensed, I think is a good way to say it. So like if you look at this, this waylay, like there's, there's rainbow everywhere. It's very intense, it's in your face, it's super cool. If you look at this director Krennic, it is everywhere, but it's also very subtle. It enhances the art. Also, this piece of art with the Krennic himself and all the text is basically like a layer above the foiling. So for example, going back to the waylay again, here, this part of the card is not foiled, but everything else, all the art, all that stuff, it's got the foiling treatment on top of it. Whereas the Krennic is like standing above the background. 
So it just really looks good. And unfortunately in real life, this looks so much better than camera. Uh, this is uh, not really doing the car justice, unfortunately. But yeah, you can see that this is a really, really beautiful card. Uh, if you're able to pull one, we want to see what it is. Show us on social media because this game is coming out in a couple weeks and we, we want to celebrate this with everybody. Like this is a really cool game and the collectability is really high. The booster packs, James Reimer said this on the podcast and on social media that pulling cards out of the booster pack is really, really fun. Like absolutely incredible. It, it just feels like nothing we've seen in a long time because you could pull at the very front a showcase leader or you could pull a base or you could pull both. I mean, like you're, you're literally building packs where you can see something to the extent of, you know, here's a here's a showcase leader. Here's a showcase base. Here's a couple of commons. Here's a, uh, you know, hyperspace card. And then here's a hyperspace foil in the back. Like you could just have this really crazy booster pack with all kinds of hits and all kinds of cool stuff going on. And that's the fun of the, the Star Wars Limited, like, pulling aspect of cracking packs. And I also wanted to compare this and show this off against other cards. So here's the cold foil from Lorcana. Here is the showcase foil from Star Wars Unlimited. I think Star Wars Unlimited wins that fight uh, just because there is no color, no holographic, anything. Cold foils, super cool. Rainbow showcase foils, really, really cool. Uh, against magic. Oh, also, now here, here's a really one cool thing I really, really, really love. I don't know how they did this. So as you saw earlier with the Waylay, we're gonna do the uh, Pringle test. So here's Waylay. It's curving, curving a smidgen, not too, not too bad. Here is the Magic the Gathering card, definitely foiling up a little bit. Uh, here is the Showcase Leader, zero curvature. Now I've heard people say it's because there's foil on both sides. So when you think about it, the foil on the front side here is like warping the card backwards. Uh, this card's worth nothing, so don't freak out. I'm gonna mess with it a little bit. But like the the foil on this edge is like pulling this into itself like that, sort of. So if there was foil on this edge, it would kind of fix itself the other direction. It would be pretty net neutral there. So the cool thing about showcase leaders, there is zero pringling whatsoever. I didn't have to double sleeve. I didn't have to put this under a book. I, I just put it in this um, inner sleeve and that's it. So these don't warp. Good job, FFG, thank you. <laughs> I'm uh, very appreciative that the coolest card in the entire set for pulls, all the showcases, don't warp. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, oh, and then let's look at the Pokemon foil. Again, this is probably the closest we're going to get in terms of like look and feel the foil. So here's the Mimikyu foil. And the similar thing, you can see like here, the Mimikyu is not foiled. It's like that layer above, similar to the Krennic. However, the Krennic artwork just looks, feels so much better. And I'm probably biased, I'll admit, like this is like super cool. There's not a lot of these in the field. And these came in the ETBs with Pokemon. So you can find these for pennies on the dollar. But like, if you're just looking purely at the foiling, it's pretty close. Like. The, the Mimikyu looks real good, I will admit. Uh, I think the Krennic looks just ever so slightly better. Also, you've got another card essentially on the back end and Mimikyu has, you know, Pokemon. So, boop, see you later, bye. But yeah, that is the review of all of the rarities in the Star Wars Unlimited game. So again, we've got common, uncommon, uh, rare, legendary. Your uh, cards are going to have four different types of rarities in a booster pack. So I'll just put that there. Um, your bases are going to have four different types. So you're going to have the basic base, the hyperspace base, and then they can either have shields or they can have a, um, where is that thing? Oh, I guess I missed it. Uh, an experience token. So for collectors, four types of bases. And then for your leaders, you've got the regular leader, 
you've got the showcase or the uh, hyperspace leader and then the penultimate showcase leader. So depending on what you're looking for in your collection, there's going to be all kinds of different things to pick and collect. And then I almost forgot, all the cards are going to have a regular version, a foil version, a hyperspace version, and then the hyperspace full art foil. So thanks for watching. This has been a lot of fun kind of covering all of the different types of cards, all the different rarities, everything you can look for. Here's that waylay again, you can see that foiling. So I think one of the big questions a lot of people are asking is, is the foil good in Star Wars Unlimited? And I think it is. The foiling on the standard card, I, I mean, I don't love it, I don't hate it, I think it's cool. There's, again, not much of a pull. There's not much warping because they're just foiling here. So that's cool. I I don't know, I like the artwork. I think I'll probably go for the standard cards, but the foils are cool, trade them away. Um, hyperspace is different though. I like the hyperspace versions. Hyperspace foils are cool. These I don't mind having a ton of. I would love to have a Twin Suns deck blinked out with hyperspace and hyperfoil cards. If I can ever get to that point, I don't know because uh, these will not be cheap over the course of time, but they're cool. And then of course the showcase. This is absolutely a win. Uh, Fantasy Flight, you did amazing. This looks mind blowing. And they earlier uh, they revealed Sabine, we saw Thrawn, like all the card art coming for these showcase leaders is fantastic. Because again, don't get me wrong, the artwork on the standard card this looks great. Very, very cool. It's very comic book art. This just slaps. <laughs> like, the new artwork for these leaders is absolutely incredible. So yeah, go to your local game store, talk to them about Star Wars Unlimited. Pre-orders are up right now for pretty much every store I've ever met and talked to. And then pre-release is going to be March 1st, and release for the game is March 8th. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see y'all next time.